A8 is application problem for length and midpoint. The vertices of a right triangle are A minus 2, 5, B minus 4, 1, and C, 2, 3. Verify that the midpoint of the hypotenuse is equidistant from all the three vertices of the triangle. Calculate the area of the triangle. This is a very interesting problem and it's kind of important also. It tells us about a very important point from where all the vertices are equidistant. How can you use that point? Think about it. And that could be a communication question too. Okay. Now, let's try to see the steps involved. I will not do the calculation, but I'll just tell you the framework in which you should do the problem. Okay. The thing is, the vertices of the right angle triangle are a, B, C. So triangle is drawn for us. Let us label. Let's write down what is A. A is minus 2, 5. So minus 2 and 5. So that is our A. B is minus 4, 1. So minus 4 and 1. So this is B. And C is 2, 3. So 2 and 3. So that is C for us, right? It seems that here we have a right angle, right? So let me assume this to be the right angle. For the time being, we'll definitely prove it. And therefore, that is the hypotenuse. And maybe we'll find the midpoint, okay? Verify that the midpoint of the hypotenuse is equal. So first, you find the midpoint of BC, correct? So that is, let us say, the point P. Let me call this point as P. And P is midpoint of BC. So we'll say P equals to midpoint of BC. So B and C, just add X values. When you add X values, minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2. This is the x value, right? And the y value will be 1 plus 3 divided by 2, correct? Okay? That will give you point P, which is equals to minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So it looks minus 1, that is the correct point, right? Similarly, you can find midpoints of the other points. So P basically is midpoint for BC. So I'll write BC here so that you understand, right? Similarly, Q is midpoint of, let's say midpoint of AB, right? That point is not exact, you have to calculate. Q is midpoint of AB, use similar formula. And let's say Q and R is here. And then R is midpoint of AC. Use this formula, find your answer. Once you find the midpoints, since this is midpoint, it is obvious that these two vertices are same distance, correct? Because this is midpoint. And you can always find the distance between midpoint and the vertex. How will you find the distance? We say distance D between, let's say, P and B is equal to square root of plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root. Is it okay? So you get this distance. You know distance from B to P has to be equal to P to C because P is the midpoint. What you need to do is you have to find this distance AP, right? So you have to prove that distance from A to P is equal to distance from P to B, right? So that will show that the midpoint of BC, which is the hypotenuse for us, is equidistant from all the three vertices. How will you show that BC is the hypotenuse? Well, the slope of AB and the slope of AC should be negative reciprocal, correct? So don't forget that. We will also show that this first show that this is a right angle triangle well it is not necessary since it is written the vertices of a right triangle are this and this correct so we'll assume that to be but in any case it's not a bad idea to so say if slope of a b is equals to negative one over slope of a c that shows that the triangle is a right angle triangle is it okay so that is the kind of framework under which you can solve this problem very easily, right? And communicate simultaneously 
each and every step which you're trying to do. Thank you.